Hello, I would like to introduce you to a web tool that I have found to be invaluable in the classroom. This is Kia, an online tool that can be used for reinforcement of classroom concepts, review, practice, or assessment. There are two ways you can use Kia. You can use all of the activities and quizzes that other educators have made for free. They are easily searchable by subject area and then advanced search. You can also search by a specific activity type, such as a game or a quiz, by a subcategory, if your textbook is part of one of them that's supported by Kia, or a teacher has linked a quiz or an activity to a textbook, or by author if you know you're looking for a specific one. Once you have searched, you submit, and it brings up all of these games, quizzes, activities that have been created by other teachers in that particular category. So if you wanted to do a battleship game, you would just click on the game and that's what it would look like. And so then you could send this link to your students, however you get their links and information to them, and they would have access to that game. There is no cost and no limit on free use. However, using the website for free does not allow you to see the results of what students have done on either the activities or quizzes, and you cannot edit the content with a free account. The other way you can use Kia is by having an account. And so you can start with a free 30-day trial, which gives you all the perks and benefits of full membership. You're able to create classes, create activities and quizzes, surveys, modify and change existing activities and quizzes from that uh, searchable menu, generate reports, and have access to video tutorials for the site. So once you subscribe to Kia, you can create your classes. So I will log in. And this is my teacher website page that was generated by Kia when I got an account. So then you can just go to classes and if you want to create a new class, then you would give it a name. Give it an end date. And then you choose how you want to set up your class, whether you would like to enroll the students yourself or have students self-enroll. There is a third option, which is uploading a roster of your classes from a school roster in a school management system such as Infinite Campus or PowerSchool. The only drawback to automatically uploading is Kia automatically generates usernames using the student's complete first and last name. So if I create this class, and we'll come back to that, if I create this class, then here is where I set up everything that you saw on that other page. The name, the date, um, the school name and school web page, how I want teacher or students to see me, my name, address, what, what I teach. And then down at the bottom, you can add an image, you can add a message to the class. At the bottom, you can add any other useful websites like a, a classroom website, um, a textbook website, any of those and then that will appear on that page, on your page. So you can also make that standard across all of your classes so that you don't have to enter this with each new class that you enter. So I'm just gonna save the changes that I made. And now I have a period 12. So now here's where I can create a roster. This would be where I would manually enter the student's last name, first name, ID, I do suggest that so that you can, if you want to run reports, you're not having students' names posted. Student email, which is nice because then you can email the students their usernames and passwords. So this is one option for entering. You can also upload your roster from a school management system like Infinite Campus and PowerSchool. The only drawback to automatically uploading is that Kia automatically generates usernames using the student's complete first and last name. Therefore, if a student has a wrong name, such as
even if the student goes by a shorter name, um, just give them, and I'm going to skip the email, and then I'm going to save the changes. Now you can see the student's username is that whole Alexander Garcia Berg 740, and there's always a three digit number. You do not have the ability to edit this. So some teachers prefer to enter their own names, such as for the last name, they'll just enter a G, and then the first name, Alex. And then you save those changes. Now you can see that the second student's username is much shorter than the way it was typed in completely. The benefit of uploading a roster from a school info system is that the student can then be enrolled in multiple classes by different teachers. Rather than having multiple usernames for each classroom and multiple passwords, they have the same login for each class where the teacher adds them to that class. Everything is under one account. Our school has decided this is much more beneficial to the students, so our students do have the longer usernames. If you're the only teacher using Kia, you may want to manually enroll students to avoid the longer usernames. If you are working with younger students who would probably only be enrolled in one teacher, you might want to use the manual enrollment. Once you have your classes built, you can email your students their usernames and passwords if you have added those emails, which they come in automatically if it's uploaded from the school management system. You can email yourself a list of the student's usernames and passwords. You can also email each student his username and password. You can also see the student's password by clicking on the lock, and you do have the ability to change the password if you wanted it to be something standard across every student, or if the student couldn't remember it and you needed to change it. Finally, adding, deleting, or moving students between classes is very easy using the drop-down menu on the right side of the screen. So if I select Alex, I can transfer that student to another class. I can remove him from, for example, if they moved, or I can send that particular student an email. Again, if the email address is part of their information. Now that you have your classes entered and ready to go, it's time to create some content for your students. Kia offers three types of activities to use with your students. Those are surveys, quizzes, or activities. Each of these has its own menu on the left side of the screen. When you click on your choice, it will take you to your own page that lists each of those surveys, activities, or quizzes that you have created. So we'll go to my activities page and you can see that I have several, and in addition to that, I've organized them into folders. So Kia helps you keep things very organized so that you can find them, find your content again. You can work with your files from the menus on each of these screens. It will tell you what each icon means if you, by just by hovering over it. You can also search for any of these types of activities that have been created by other educators by using the shared activities button. This takes you right back to the sharing where you can search for any activity just like with a free account. Once you choose an activity that you want to use, and again, you can go in and click on the name and it will show you exactly what it looks like. So if I wanted a Civil War review on the challenge board, which is Life's Jeopardy. All I would do once I viewed it so there are my categories and then you can play. The students can play those with those activities. So if you decide yes that's what I want, then you just hit copy and it takes, it asks you which classes you'd like to assign that to. So if I'm assigning it to two of my class periods, I can submit that or I continue on and don't submit at this point. So now back on my activities page, 
dependent alphabetical order. Here's the Civil War Review I just copied over. If maybe there were some questions that you needed to change because they didn't fit your curriculum, you can simply go in and edit that particular activity. And remember, this is like a Jeopardy board, so there's a couple of steps. You can edit any of these categories. And it takes me to, these are the questions that actually show up in the Jeopardy game. Once you've edited the game and are ready to assign it to your students, you can just say done. You then have the option to play the activity or you can email the link to your students. Once you've assigned an activity to your students and they've taken it, you can view the results. So we will discuss each activity in more detail in the next three videos. Thank you for your time and hopefully you found this short tutorial on getting started in Kia 